Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is June 30th, 2017, and we're on Hilton Head Island in Windmill Harbor, the gated marina community that also has tennis, swimming, the home of the South Carolina Yacht Club with optional membership. We'll go over at the end of our tour to take a look at the marina. And what we're looking at now though is number 64 Spindle Lane. One of 16 condominiums here. We call condominiums villas in this Hilton Head area. One of 16 villas here in Windmill Harbor. They're first floor and second floor villas that are two bedrooms and two baths. Some of them have a loft as does number 64, our subject villa today. And it's listed with Island Realty for $249,000. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 41 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. Before we go in, we'll just take a quick look across this Spindle Lane Villa group and a look through the beautiful trees here to some of the other properties in the area. This is a very popular and beautiful community here on the north end of Hilton Head Island. Very popular for both primary residents and second resident owners. Clearly for people who have boats, but they have a very active tennis community and a beautiful swimming pool as well. Again, my name is Richard Kadish, it's K-A-D-E-S-C-H, and my company, Go Gated Realty, like gated communities. And I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And again, Windmill Harbor is a gated community with a 24-hour manned security gate. And we'll just take a quick walk through here of 64. See if it could possibly be for you. Uh, this uh, community, uh, they have um, right now about six of these for sale. They range in size from 1,273 square feet up to 1,586 square feet. This villa, number 64, is one of them that has the loft, and so it has the 1,586 square feet size, the larger size. Many other very attractive features. Uh, for instance, it has wood floors, tile floors, granite countertops, and a fireplace. A balcony with a beautiful water view. It won't take long to uh, walk through this villa. It's gonna be very popular for many of my buyers as a personal second home or possibly a primary home. I have a lot of uh, clients who want to have uh, a great neighborhood. They want to have um, a quality neighborhood that's uh, safe and uh, definitely upscale, but they don't necessarily want to spend a whole lot of money for a big house. Now houses in this community, they range in price from $450,000 to $2,300,000. And the average house for sale today in Windmill Harbor is just over a million dollars, a million and five, a million dollars, 5,500. And uh, the sizes of course are also much bigger. They range in size from just over 2,000 square feet, 2,057 square feet to 6,000 square feet. The average size of a home for sale here in Windmill Harbor, 3,449 square feet, 3,449 square feet. Now this information comes from our Hilton Head Island multiple listing service of which I'm a member and requires this disclaimer that you're not, require, you're not relying on this information in any way to make a buying decision. It's not representative of anything whatsoever, but I share it with you just the same to give you, to make the point that 
this is a really first-class community and this condominium is an opportunity for you to buy in and have a second home in this quiet upscale community for under 300,000 in fact this one's listed again for 249 249 the villas here are listed for 200 to 294 so this is right in the mid-range but it has the larger size and this beautiful water view from this beautiful balcony private second floor balcony And we'll step back inside and take a closer look at our floor plan now. You can see that the living room, dining area, right through into the bedroom where we're going to go in just a minute, and the second bedroom or office downstairs all has the wood floors, the traditional three-inch oak planks. This home is being sold unfurnished. When I say home, of course, I mean condominium. And you can see the dining area here, the breakfast bar, open to the kitchen. And we have a tile floor here. The counter has granite. I think that this style and decor would be very suitable for most of my buyers. We are looking for an upscale condominium, a second home here on Hilton Head Island in a quiet, non-touristic neighborhood. Clearly the living room has a fireplace and I'll step back out again just to show you this high ceiling. You only get these on the second floor villas. It goes up to that loft and we're going to go up there in just a minute. That would be your I guess uh, your discretionary area to use for your fitness uh, office would be uh, a very good choice for many people to have some sort of an office up there. Clearly for those of uh, us with grandchildren or friends that come to visit, you could uh, put some beds up there and have the guest facilities that you need. And again, this home is just 249,000. So we have the stainless appliances, GE brand, we have the um, painted wood cabinets. We have our tiled floor in the kitchen and it has a circular floor plan. Uh, nice cupboard here, by the way. And our clothes washer and dryer is here. Piggyback style in the kitchen with our water heater, has an energy miser. Our electric company here on the island, ladies and gentlemen, Palmetto Electric is a cooperative. So it's a non-profit, so our energy costs tend to be a bit lower and the service very good. They provide uh, energy misers that allow you to control your peak uses for conserving energy, working together with the community. Now this is your Second bedroom on the first floor, beautiful bay windows. We have flat ceilings and crown molding and our closet over here with the mirrored sliders. Beautiful wood floor. And these double doors are typically what you would associate with an office or perhaps a TV room. The buyer could be either a single gentleman or lady or a couple who want to have a second living area or TV room. This could be an art studio for those of you that are hobbyists. Many uses and functions when you have the space you get the uh, increased uh, versatility. So here's our second downstairs bathroom. We're, we haven't been to the primary bedroom or bathroom yet, but we have a tile floor here. Panel doors, some rub, rubbed bronzed doorknobs, and we're gonna see cultured marble on our countertops as we go through. 
And this has some kind of sponge painting on the walls, which is pretty nice. And our tower, our shower and tub combination here behind the door has the cultured marble slabs all around. People like that. Very durable, clean, beautiful, and a, uh, a good fiberglass tub here below. We have crown molding in the bathroom. And again, flat ceilings down here. Everything is very clean and ready to go. You just don't have to do anything with this house. Your mechanicals are in this closet. This is where your air handler is located. Your uh, machinery here in this climate is two pieces. You have an air handler inside and a heat pump outside. And this one looks brand new or very close. Brand new or very close. Looking good. And this entire area also separates off from the rest of the house via this pocket door. And then here's an additional uh, linen closet, storage area. Looking back into the foyer, we see that the entranceway has that coat closet immediately next to our door. So let's just come back into the house and over to the right, we have our primary bedroom downstairs. Notice you have ceiling fans throughout. That just, of course, increases your energy efficiency and your comfort. We have flat ceilings. We have crown molding here in the master bedroom and more wood. The wood comes right through from the foyer into the living area, into that second bedroom or office that we just left, here to the master, and into the master bathroom we go. This has two vanities for him and for her with the cultured marble tops and the integral basins, the big fixed wall mirrors, sometimes called a Hollywood light, sometimes called a builder's light. <laughs> Our walk-in closet is here to the left with the mirrored finish. And then when we step back into the tub room, we have our second vanity. Again, these are painted wood cabinets, not thermofoils, but painted wood. Traditional white tile floors. Our commode is over here. Everything looking just perfectly kept. And on this side, we have a deep soaking tub with jets and also a shower. Again, this is a cultured marble surround. Cultured marble is quartz dust, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, man-made, it's a resin product, it's fabricated like slabs of stone, but it's man-made, so it's very durable. And then this is probably a, a fiberglass tub that is matched up with the jets and so forth. That's probably what we're looking at there. So really this uh, condominium uh, at the uh, economy price of 249 by Hilton Head Standards uh, really offers a lot of the same features and uh, usability, I guess you could say, the utility of a much more expensive home. Now being a condominium, another reason that people would be attracted to a condominium is that you just don't have to take care of the outside. That's all taken care of you, care of for you by the association, which means the homeowners collectively. And of course, that's you. you. You elect your board of directors who oversee the maintenance of the exterior. And you do pay an extra fee for that, but that's going to free you up to travel and enjoy your life, not have to worry about the roof, the siding, the landscaping, buying insurance, it's all done as part of that payment. And by the way, that payment here is uh, 297 per month. You then have an additional 222 for your insurance. So, uh, but that frees you up to enjoy your life and uh, 
I get, a, I get that from many of my upscale buyers who are retired as an example or who just want a second home. They want to be able to lock the door and not worry about things, to be safe. So this is our loft. Look at how the ceiling just soars up across those beams. Those are functional rafters that come right on up, a sculpted ceiling. We have a gable here to the front, bringing some light into the front. <clears throat> we have a walk-in attic here to the right, and a large storage closet. <coughs> So this extra loft gives this floor plan some versatile space upstairs here if you would like it. Most people do. Most people like to have space, closets, the type of versatility that this condominium can offer you. So one last look here at the living room dining area. Beautiful French doors the elevated mountains, the Palladian window over those doors bringing in light to your high ceiling, smaller Palladian over here, our fireplace, beautiful wood floors, good quality. And I think by most people's definition, this condominium was ready to go, ready to go. You don't need to do much of anything, but everyone has different standards. You might like different colors, or different tile. You're always free to decorate, do those sorts of things. Let's take a walk over to the marina, talk a bit about this community and my own service as a buyer's agent. I don't represent Island Realty and I don't work for Windmill Harbor. I work for you, the buyer, as a buyer's agent with the right agreement, of course, which is easy to do because I'm only paid at closing if you buy and if you close and I'm paid by the commission which is already in the price of every listed home or villa and I also work with buyers of course who want new houses and I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder I love new construction I help my buyers to compare communities and builders and new homes to resale homes and of course as a buyer's agent I'm on your side every listing agent and agency represents the seller absolutely nothing wrong with that their job of course is to get the best deal for the seller the highest price the best terms my mission is different my mission is to get the best deal for you to make sure that you're fully informed about what you're buying and to protect you, of course, uh, to make sure you know what you're buying. It just doesn't cost you anything more to have a buyer's agent on your side. And you know, the commission that your agent earns is the same whether they just showed up yesterday or whether they have 41 years of local real estate experience like I do. So I think it makes it a no-brainer to have a experienced buyer's agent on your side to help you find the property that you want, save your valuable time, hopefully so help save you money, solve problems, <laughs> give advice, and just help you in any way that I can. And, and of course I have a team. I refer you to the attorney that you'll need to close the property to inspectors. I always recommend that you have your property inspected by a certified inspector. And often that leads to a second round of negotiations. The way the contract is drawn for you, the buyer, can be and should be different than what a seller would make as far as their contract. Your concerns can be very different. So I'm here to help, that's what I do. And here we are at the marina. Now anything looking out onto the marina, ladies and gentlemen, costs a lot more. We go up into the 600,000 and up range. But this is a beautiful marina, part of the upscale community definition that I mentioned in passing. 
And this is only one of two marinas here on the island, and I understand only one of two or three on the entire East Coast that has a lock system. And of course, that's valuable to you boat owners for keeping your boat safe from storms and also from uh, barnacles. I understand that boats in a marina system that has locks are just generally cleaner and safer. And then those, the lock system, which is right over yonder, don't know that we'll go see that today, but that uh, allows you access directly out to the intercoastal waterway. And you can either head on up the May River, which is what a lot of people in, where in Bluffton go boating, or you head over to the Calabogie Sound and directly out to the ocean. So a beautiful community with one of the best marinas. When I talk to boat owners and of course they want to know about a marina community, then Windmill Harbor is always on their list and we talk about properties and various options available here in Windmill Harbor. So immediately to the left up here is your community swimming pool. We'll take a quick peek and then finish up. I'll give you my contact information. They also have a very active tennis program here and hard true tennis courts, which is your country club style. We'll take a quick peek at that. They have a pro shop with a tennis pro and this is their stadium court. A lot of uh, people I know are tennis players. They love Windmill Harbor. <coughs> this is really a first class tennis club. And even if you don't play, I always th think on behalf of my buyers about the eventual resale of your home or condominium. You like to have as many good amenities as possible. Now for you golfers, give me a call, we'll talk about that. When you're ready, we have so much golf in the area that there's so many options. You can just pay as you play. And we can go into those details when you call. Now if you do join the South Carolina Yacht Club, they do have a golf dimension to that membership. Again, we can go into that when you call, but this is a beautiful uh, swimming pool here. And it overlooks the marina. So let me give you my contact information see if we can walk out and see those locks. I'll finish up and tell you a bit about how you can reach me. And again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. <clears throat> and my company is Go Gated Realty. Well, we won't find a stairway there. We'll go back around this way. Hello. How are you? So again, my contact information, uh, Richard Kadish, it's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company, Go Gated Realty. And my cell number, 843-684-2933. And my website is gogated.com. And at gogated.com, you can search all the Hilton Head MLS properties for Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina on your own. I welcome that. But the way I generally work with buyers is for you to uh, email me directly or via gogated.com. You can go there and write a quick note about the home you're looking for and I'll send you a list of all of the homes or villas that would meet your needs, that will meet your budget or whatever you're looking for. And I can send you that list in a format that will update automatically. And it will save you a lot of time and keep you well informed. The closer you get to your purchase decision, the more that you'll need an accurate uh, listing of homes. And that's where that list really shines because once you uh, have an agent working with you here, then 
when that property that you want comes up, you can call me and oftentimes I check it out for my buyers, make sure it's still available, go in, take pictures, eyeball it, give you my opinion. Even if you're an expert and the most sophisticated buyer out there, most people would agree that you can always use a good advisor and someone on your side to help you out in any way whatsoever. Any amount of help you can get is usually appreciated. At least in my world, that's true. And probably in yours too. Well, here we are at the lock system and looking out onto the Calabogie Sound. Just get an idea of this. This entire walkway opens up as part of one of the locks. And as a matter of fact, here we are then looking out the way you take your boat out here. Just a beautiful community. This is the back door, if you will, to the uh, waterway. So at all tides, you're in business as a boat person. Well, thank you for watching this video. I sure enjoyed showing you the villa and a little bit of Windmill Harbor, 64 Spindle Lane, again, listed with Island Realty. The price, 249. Uh, it has uh, 1,586 square feet. And I welcome your call or your email to talk about what you are looking for in particular. And I'm sure we'll find it. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, there are more available to you at the Go Gated channel. Please subscribe. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for watching.